Guys, this is John with 360 Fishing. Got a special video here. Uh, this was something I was looking at for the last three months that I was afraid I was going to have to go out and buy a new one because everybody knows I've got the Titan 13.5. And actually, when I bought this, I actually bought the 10.5 right there. She's going to have to order it. I said, okay, not a problem. I called her back the next day. I said, hey, is there any way I can get the 13? If we get the 10, I want the 13. I said, I'll pay the difference. It's no problem. She goes, sure, I'll have to order it also. I don't have any of these in stock. I said, fine. So after fishing the last two tournaments, excuse me, the one tournament, the one got canceled, I just wanted to be able to put it in the back of the truck and you know not have to worry about loading unloading from the trailer even though I do have the landing gear for this it's just so heavy that I got everything on there it just makes it a bear trying to get it up and down that ramp some of those ramps are a little steeper than than uh, others uh, sorry about that so I found on Craigslist I thought was too good to be true. The guy had a Titan 10.5 that somebody stole the pedal drive out of. I was like, you know what? That's perfect. I'll have a hard time selling mine without the pedal drive. I'll keep it, just switch it back and forth. No big deal. Eventually, I'll buy another pedal drive. He called me back and said, hey, uh, I went ahead and bought a pedal drive. The price has changed. Brum, brum, brum. You know what? I was like, what's your price? He told me what his price was, and that is still way below buying a new one. So I'm like, you know what? Let me come by and look at it. We'll go from there. He's like, that's fine. No problem. So I just got home, and this is what it is. It does have the upper and lower seat, which what I was looking for for mine. Because if y'all remember, I built a platform to get it up the road this is John 360 fishing and this is the second part of the Titan 10.5 uh, crossover like I said I've got the 13 right there and it's just there's a lot of weight for me I really wanted it where I could load it up inside the trailer or the trailer load it up inside the truck hope be a whole lot easier uh, but a deal come across on Craigslist and it was the Titan 10.5 and I am about 90% done uh, I've got a couple small things I'm gonna do to it like I said uh, I am gonna put valve and stern lights on put a uh, light right here So he had a depth finder. I was able to reuse his attachments. Uh, like I said this does have the newer seat. He did order the Burley Pro, and we were waiting on the handle to come in. It came in today, so I could finish uh, installing that. Like I said, I couldn't do, I couldn't finish up this without that being in place and tight. So I was able to put everything in there. Like I said, this was that was part of the upgrade that he had done to it. Like about the seat is it's got places for attachments to go like I said this right here is brand new the uh, what he said is somebody stole the pedal drive out of his driveway so he had to go purchase a brand new one I did lose a little bit of room of course on the uh, the compartments but you know what I've got in here really nothing that's my battery box for the uh, the Garmin and the lights, just the uh, rain gear and just a towel. So hopefully, uh, I don't know if I'll get it out this weekend. We're expecting some bad weather to come in. But hopefully I can, uh, can't wait to try it out, see how it works out. But this is it. This is uh, what I was wanting. Should have got it the first place, but 
uh, I didn't want to be undersized, so I went with a bigger one and ended up, you know, paying the price in the long run. All right, guys, that's it. Appreciate you uh, watching the video and uh, tell me what you think. Good move, bad move. Like I said, I still got the 13. So, uh, and it hasn't gone nowhere yet. But, uh, only one way to find out. All right, guys, we'll see y'all later. Take care.